Hello, I'm Dustin with Kruger's Training Academy and Kruger Instruments. Uh, today we're going to be going through the pressure vacuum breaker testing procedures for LA County specifically. <clears throat> this is the LA County version. I guess you might have other versions. Not that many people do the PVB using a water column. It's like a water column test. Uh, check out our other videos. We got the ones for the differential pressure kits and the, you know, like the USC 10th edition and everything. But essentially the prefer pressure vacuum breaker for LA County, you have to do the differential pressure gauge, which is essentially the USC 10th edition. Then you also have to do the water column test procedure. So that's what we're gonna go over today. You can get this book, you can download it on our website. It's uh, krugerstraining.academy slash California. If you go to the bottom, we have like all the different counties listed. Essentially a lot of the different counties have their own exams. We do a lot of classes there, especially in LA County. Uh, but most of the other courses that you might come across uh, generally are like more USC 10th edition in general. Uh, but we try to do anything towards Los Angeles County. If you want to do practice and everything with the LA County test procedures, you're going to have to practice for their test. Uh, we definitely have that available for you. So for the pressure vacuum breaker, uh, I just have like a sheet here. I haven't actually done this procedure ever before, so this is the first time for anything. Remove the canopy. If you don't have a canopy, the proctor might want you to like pretend you have one. So you're like, you're oh, remove the canopy, you know, the imaginary canopy. Uh, our first step, we actually forgot the first step. Notify, identify, inspect, observe. Make sure you say those four words. Sometimes they want to know what those four words mean. Totally fine. You should know what they mean, but you have to say them first and then they'll be like, oh yeah, like, what are you observing? And you know, it's always a, a back and forth. Open and close, test cocks one and two. It's all appropriate fittings. This is a Febco, which is owned by Watts. So they generally have the fittings already in. They might want you to do the whole like imaginary install the fittings. I, I really doubt for the exam they'd have it where you needed fittings. So a bleed off T on test cock two. So this is a little different than the USC where they tell you to put it on one first. Attach water column to the bleed off T. What we've done is essentially you can get these from Midwest Instruments. It's like a, really just a sight tube for the double check test. Uh, but they make it so that you can like kind of double it up usually. So if you double it up, you have to be at least 36 inches, I think, or 28 inches or something. So you got to measure it, but then also if you double it up, you have enough length. Uh, they might have a thing with the width. Uh, I haven't actually used this in the LA County like exam specifically. I think it's actually supposed to be a lot thicker, but they probably let you get away with this, I'm assuming. Then you attach your sight tube. The, the Midwest ones are, have a nice little thing where it's like a 90 and then you can either make it straight on or you can make it vertical like a, like a 90 degree. Top of water column has to be at least 27 and three quarter inches above the air inlet. So you open test cock two slightly to fill the water column all the way to the top. So you just kind of they do have, you got to make this very tight for the, uh, if any of your little fittings aren't perfect, it'll like kind of lean in one direction or the other if you have an idea on it. So the water's all the way to the top. Close Sascock 2, close shut off 2, close shut off 1. You look at the water column, says while looking at the water column, so don't worry about the air inlet, look at the water column. Open test cock two. If air inlet opens before it reaches 27 and three quarters, so we'll do it again real quick. So 27 and three quarters would be From the air inlet, be it right about the top, maybe a little before the top. So the air inlet has to open before it hits the top. Make sure it doesn't 
move. So the air inlet should open before it hits the top. So you watch the water column. If it keeps dumping, that means it opened, or you want to kind of watch the air inlet as well. Well, I have to shut off. Close shut off one. Air inlet pops and water drops all the way down. So you know that the air inlet will open. First off, it opened, period. And then also it opened before this water line got to 27 and 3 quarters. So then you close test cock two. So they don't really want a fully open test, which is, well, but USC requires you like you open, you leave, you take off the hose and you see it fully open. They don't really want that. So it's close test cock two and remove water column assembly. Next you attach bleed off T to test cock one. Attach water column assembly to test cock one or to uh, the bleed off T as well. Again, you got to make sure everything's completely tight because if not, your uh, tight tube will do like the four, you know, it'll lean back to you. Measure up 27 three quarters from test cock two, which is again right about the top. I think actually for LA County, they want you, usually people use rubber bands uh, where they move it up. Um, you can also mark it. We do have a, a marker here. I guess we'll mark it. So that's about 27 and three quarters. That's what I was getting. From the test cock two. Open shut off one. Open test cock one. I guess you just kind of fill it up. Close test cock one. Close shut off one. Then you just open test cock two. So you make sure this doesn't drop. Open test cock two. Wait till the water stops dripping. And it's holding the full water column. So that means that check valve one, once it stops dripping, is holding one PSI minimum because if not, the 27 and three quarters would leak through. Close test cocks one and two. Place canopy. Then of course you open shut off one and shut off two. This is a tricky one. Um, if you're taking the LA County exam, you want to make sure you're fully versed in all these water column test procedures. They're not in the book. They're not in the USC 10th edition book. Even though if you go to other counties, they make you do like AWWA or maybe ABPA exams uh, or whatever they got, ASSE exams, whatever they need. Um, generally, AWWA is like the standard for California in general. But if you're doing Los Angeles County specifically, they have their own exam and it's not just the USC 10th edition. So you make sure you get this book, make sure you read it, watch the videos and all that stuff. If you made it this far, then you know, uh, you know the channel provided you a little bit of value. Definitely check us out. If you got students that need to go take the class, it's krugerstraining.academy slash California. Uh, we got them all the time in Los Angeles and all these different areas. Um, and then, yeah, if you, um, definitely got something from this video feel free to like and subscribe and check out the rest of the videos on the channel we got a lot of different videos including how to proctor an exam how to take a awwa test or whatever you need but uh thank you for tuning in